Hello and welcome to another fishing video uh, on my channel Brooms World. Um, this video is going to be me attempting to catch canal carp again. Shark horror. Um, lately I've just been flat out on my boat, painting my boat. Like I'm 12 days it's took me to get that done of just pure graft. You know, some days when you wake up and you just don't feel like it. Well, that was quite a few M days. But you push through, don't you? <coughs> um, but yeah, it ain't the time of year anyway to be uh, getting stuck into anything because one day it's like winter, next day it's spring. But I have checked as of tomorrow, for the next few days, we've got 15 to 16 degrees in the day and 12 and 13 at night. Eesh. We'll have a bit of that. So <clears throat> I'm going to be targeting a couple of marinas, maybe one, maybe two, who knows, that are local to me. Um, I'm just on the way up there now. I'm going to bait the one up. I've got a kilo of boilies in the backpack. And yeah, hopefully there's no one fishing there now. Because I won't be baiting up, will I? Because that's not fair, but you never know. We'll see. And anyway, if no one's fishing there tomorrow, I'm going to be jumping on, but I'm going to bait up tactically, probably where other people wouldn't bait up as such. It's not, it's only like a small marina entrance. Um, but yeah, you don't need to be casting in the marina and bait boating in, even though it is hard, as I know. So before all the keyboard warriors start on a gobbin, Oh, just showing that marina. Every marina has carping, and everyone's got Google, and everyone knows where the marina is local to them. So you've still got to go down there and catch them, which ain't that easy, trust me. I've been fishing these for years, and it's a lot of blanking, and people just don't want to blank. That's why they leave the canals alone, which is fair enough. But yeah. I love them and I'm dedicating my life to it. Boat, because I love canal carping and I choose to live with the carp, which is dedication. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, this is my uh, new vid on Brooms World and I hope you all like it and hopefully we catch one or two or three, we'll see. But failure to prepare is preparation to fail, so hopefully no one's fishing and this towpath's mental. No one's fishing and I get to stick my bait in, prep it for tomorrow. Look how horrendous it is. Got my best daps on, but yeah, that's what's happening. Come along for the ride. Here, yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. We're getting close. I can smell them. Please be no wonder. Please be no wonder. We'll have a look. We'll just get around this corner now and we'll see if there's anyone. Wrecking me chance to bite up. Oosh, the coast's clear. The coast is clear. I'm definitely going to be biting up. Now we've just got to gamble on whether anyone's fishing it tomorrow i mean it is friday tomorrow Woo! skate into the marina honestly i'll show you the stare to this the stare on it Cheers. but yeah we're nearly here so yeah baity baity right Get me wacko jacko glove on. Because these boys are gloved with some right sticky concoction. Hee <laughs> hee. So, let's get baiting, eh? Gloved in the cloudy manila. Yeah. So, I've got to think where I'm going to park my boat. I'm going to be facing this way. 
everyone else, if anyone was baiting, would be baiting right in the entrance, which I ain't gonna do. I'm gonna go on the power of these boilers smell. Mm. You could eat them yourself and hopefully draw them out. I'm gonna scatter them all to the left of the entrance, that's what I'm thinking. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. My mate joke, Joe Mon loves the sound of boilers hitting water. This is for you, Joe. You can hear it. Yeah, baited. Job done. See ya. Baited, ready to rock and roll. I reckon there's a good kilo in there. It's got 24 hours to do its ting. And with it being mild, I've got a feeling they might stick their heads out. Well, if a couple do in the next 24 hours and have a feed, then they might pop out tomorrow. That's the theory anyway. But yeah, like I said, if I have no joy, I'll give it a day. I'll give it two nights here. All depends on it, if other fishermen turn up and stuff. And but I'll give it a couple of nights. And if no joy, I'll head to another marina that I know. Because that's just as good, uh, if not better. Smaller fish, more chance of catching, I guess. Over the years, anyway, that's been the case. This one I've done a lot of blanking on, trust me. It ain't that easy. So, yeah, if you want to go, if you know where I am, you know it, don't you? If you know it, you know it. I'm trying not to, like, give it away and say where it is and what I'm doing. Ooh. Like they, they eat anything in the carp at the end of the day, they will eat any boilies. I've just got my favourite type. What's going on in there? Oh, pigeons, loads of pigeons. But yeah, man, ready to rock and roll tomorrow. Happy days. Sun has got his hat on. It's meant to be 15, 16 degrees today. And we are, well, I don't know why I say we, well, we, me and you. We're pulling up at the marina now and no one's fishing, so absolutely boring. My mate Mark's coming over with a chili paneer curry for us to have for our say in a bit. And yeah, I'm just gonna pull up now and get the Rodney Trotters out, claim my position where I baited up last night. It's all looking good. I only chucked it all over the one side of the entrance, so if anyone does call me who wants to fish, they can gladly fish the other side for me. I ain't a selfish angler, um, but yeah. So we're here, lovely barbs. That's a bit crap. Unless I make one out of something, maybe. You know, always get a rod out, can't we? Claim the position and all. Good old wafters. So yeah, I'll show you now what we're dealing with. Good old KD rig. On a hello. Should do the trick. Wang this out now. Don't. 
Gang. Stick a fucking dung on it. That's one rod out. Get the landing net, I guess. This. We need that, don't we? Yeah, and it feels mild anyway, so hopefully that bait I chucked in last night does the trick. Get some coming out tonight. All right, you can see where I was, where I was last fishing, we had craze problems. They're everywhere now, to be fair. Some canals are way worse than others, but they're, they're in this one, to be fair. Sometimes your baits come back a bit nibbled. Yeah, man. I'm gonna put the other rod out, because we ain't getting much boat traffic now. I love them. Tastes like Snickers these do. Look at them. Not the pop-ups, the actual boilies. Lovely if we get one tonight. That's 20 pounder. I don't know. Anything would do me to be fair. We'll see, won't we? I just hope some carp have been coming out eating that bait I chucked in. Bonk. Lovely barbs. There's lovely. There's one. KD rigs. Simple pimple. Bonk. Get up there. Right. Homemade back lid. It's um, a plummet with a, and them things. I don't even know what they're called. I'll just use them. Come on. Back lid. Homemade. Get on. It'll do the job. Keep it out of the way of the boat. Right then. Wait for the carp to go, innit? Wait for them 20 pounders. My um, sister-in-law bought me a nice present today. The only little brooms world chopping board. I haven't even opened it yet. A nice little bow on it and all. Cheers, Soph. Very thoughtful of you. Look at that. Could be something for the uh, future, memorabilia, or whatever it is, merch. <laughs> I don't know who'd want Brooms World merch, but me. Because it's my world, it's Brooms World. But yeah, man. Nice, isn't it, that? Be in the next cooking video. Chop, chop, chop in. Carpy as fuck, babe. Wait for them rods to rip her off. Good morning, uh, not even a beep, not even a bream, so that's not good, but you can't make them bite, so I'm going to get my rods in now and go and have a Costa, I think, reset, walk down to Costa, have myself a nice latte, go to the shop, get some bits and bobs and then come back, get the rods back out. Rods back out on the danger zone. Donk. Rods are out. False alarm. Well, this is real time fishing. I've been here for what, two days? I baited and I ain't even caught a bream. Not a boat. Proper carp fishing. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, it's Sunday, I've been here since Friday. So, do you stay here or do you move on? Because I've already caught two fish here this year. I've had a 17 and a 22 in January and February, and now it's what, April? And I can't get a bite. It's strange, isn't it? I'm not doing nothing wrong. I've got good baits, good rigs, putting it on the spot. Nothing. So that's fishing for you. So, whether to just go on to the next marina and try there, could do. We'll see. I might just end up staying here another night, but that's the update so far. Just got back from church with my mother. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna have got here. I've put a, I've put about one and a half kilo in, and I caught a bream off it. So for me, that's still all lying there, or it's dissolved. And but I just don't know. Got me dinner, I'm gonna make a nice Sunday roast and get these rods out now. So let's get on that. Bonk. Not even a bream. Mad at it. When they ain't biting, they just ain't biting. You can't make them. <coughs> right, I've just got back pretty late and well, it's day three, basically. This is the third night in a row, and I had a bream on today, which I didn't even know was on, and that's it. So it goes to show that I'm playing, coming out and playing ball, they're not coming out and playing ball. So I'm just going to chuck a few boardies in because I've just cast the ones out. this mess out and hopefully next time I flip the uh, camera on one of them rods will be going in Early hours of the morning. Oh my god, Carl. I was just lying there awake. Oh, it just went. Awesome. It does have a. Decent.
some noise coming. Some noise coming. Come easy. I'm guessing it's about 14, 16 pound. It looks like it's got cart pox, which is not good because I caught one in Gian, I think, or beginning of Feb, a 22 pounder, and it was, I haven't showed that on my channel. It was covered in cart pox, like white jelly, horrible. That one looks like it's got it as well. They're all gonna have it, aren't they? That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna spread through the whole group of them. There's nothing you can do for it either, I've googled it, you can't. So yeah. Happy days now, we've got one. Ah, oh, water drain, sick. Let's give him a little way. Beginning of four, seventeen, two, four, six, eight, ten. Seventeen, ten in the sling, so he's about fifteen, I'm gonna guess. Seventeen, ten in the sling, go. Eh? about 15 pounds he will once so I take the sling off but all are welcome he's a fucking ugly one he's a canal carp though this is what we're after oi mate let's turn him around There we go. Another one for the channel. I might stay here another night and see if we can catch another one, but yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's get him back. Mission complete. I'm gonna go and celebrate now with a Costa. I've deserved it. Three nights of, well, yeah, three nights of blanking and then get one on the last morning. Well, is it the last morning? I might stay another night, you know. Pressure's low, it's mild. One's come out, others, of, others will do, definitely. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna do another night. Definitely going to Costa there to celebrate now. Right, uh, let's wrap this video up then. What have we learned? We have learned that this time of year is hard to fish, especially for canal carp. I mean, I've been sat outside a marina for three nights blanking. I know the carp are in there because I used to live in there myself. But yeah, it just goes to show, doesn't it? That you can be exactly where the fish are, but still not catch them. But I was lucky, um, I was there, what, three nights? And got one on the Monday morning, nice 14 pounder, which yeah, this time of year, happy with. 
but soon I'm giving myself well, a few weeks as soon as that warm weather comes it'll be carp city man hopefully anyway I'm currently fishing outside another marina but blanking there as well so you know you can be on them I know the fish are in there but getting them to bite is another thing but yeah another fishing video done I hope you all like it guys and uh, stay tuned for the next ones coming because they'll be a lot better I think once that weather turns up.